Lionel Richie is joining us. He's coming to town August 18th, Wells Fargo Center. You, kn- I love you so much. Get ready, get ready, Patty. Get ready. Put your helmet on. Put your put your 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 scuba gear on. We're not quite sure what we're doing here, but. We're bringing all the hits. I'm telling you, between myself and, and Mariah, oh, my God. Well, you got hits, Lionel. You do. <laughs> you got some hits. And I remember oh. I remember when Butter passed because he oh. was very instrumental at the start of your career. Oh, my God. And he just oh. loved you. And you and you called in and you, t- you shared your memories with him. But DAS was so instrumental in the beginning of your career. I was going to say, what are you saying? Of course. And here's the thing about the fact that you remember that. Were you there then? I wasn't there then. <laughs> oh, okay, I was going to say, come on. <laughs> no, I wasn't. But oh, I growing scared. up, but growing up, I know the Commodore's oh, music okay, okay. from growing up and listening to DAS. Well, see, what I'm loving is now I'm getting, and I always say this when I'm on stage, you know, we have now three generations of people in my audience. The first mm-hmm. generation is, of course, they came with the Commodore's. The second generation was they joined me with all night long and the third generation is now coming along my mom and dad played you when i was growing up yes. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know it, it's like it's almost like surreal to look out in the audience and, is that a 12 year old singing easy like sunday morning what the heck is going on yeah, because it's great music lying on that's what uh, you've given us you've given us great music now i have to ask you we call it around here the black national anthem zoom <laughs> And by the way, it is between Zoom and Jesus is love. Yes. You understand me? Mm-hmm. And by the way, I do understand that. And yes, it will be in the show. Okay. Because do people look at you cockeyed like oh, Lionel? Oh, please. Oh, please. <laughs> and, and, the thing, and the thing about it is, it's funny. I'll be in the strangest place. I'll be in a corporate show. And the chairman of the board of the corporation walks up to me and goes, you are going to play Zoom, right? <laughs> <laughs> I go, um, yeah. <laughs> Zoom is my favorite song. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, my God. You do. You When you just think about Sail On, Three uh, Times a Lady, yeah, Still, yeah. Easy. Let's go back to Machine Gun. Of course, I Brick House. Just, just to be close to you. I'm yes. on a pound of material things. Yes. You know, <laughs> listen. I, you can't play. Now, this is true. We're custom designing certain songs for certain areas. For example, Philly, you have to lean into the Commodore stuff because mm-hmm. <laughs> Philly and the Commodores, that's like, again, I could do two shows. One night I could play Commodores. The next night I can play the rest of the stuff because that's how it is. It, it, it was so strong there that you can't leave out certain songs. And and that there comes the challenge because, you know, when someone says you can play an hour and a half, well, we can play three hours and a half. Yeah. Right now, I can guarantee you that those songs will be in there. We want to hear the hits, Lionel. I cannot wait for this night. Everybody, oh. you know you got to get your tickets because we're all going to be singing and swaying with you and dancing on the ceiling, everything, oh. all night long. All night long. <laughs> and I'm telling you, and and right now, hanging on the ceiling is where I'm practicing on being because, you know, that that is, I, I can't believe it, but it has actually, it's gone to the next generation. We, James Corden, we just finished that the other night. Uh, we did Dancing on the Ceiling. Again, a remake of Dancing on the Ceiling. Go check that out on, on YouTube. And it's hilarious. Okay, we and are. I, and we you got to go check it out. I know, we, we are. <laughs> and it, it was just ridiculous to the point where, you know, we are going to bring all of that to the stage. Get ready. Oh, well, get ready. You know what, Lionel Richie? You have given us some great music. Um, we just love you here. We thank <laughs> you for the great music. I got to tell you, Butter loved you so much. Oh, my He did. Oh, my. He loved can you. I tell, can I tell you? Oh, it, I, first of all, having conversations with him was like a religious experience because I didn't have to talk about my career. He would tell me about my career. I remember that more than anything else in the world. He would say to me, you know this hit, you know this is a hit record, don't you? And I go, uh, yes, sir. <laughs> you know, because he was the one that would pick the song. Yeah. I mean, he was the ear. This, this is back in the day when the, the disc jockeys, the jocks, 
they actually were the ears of the of the music business. They they knew what a hit record sounded like, regardless of whatever market testing they wanted to do. He said, "This is a hit record, man. I'm telling you." I got to tell you, we miss him so much, but he helped to you. to establish a legacy here at DAS. And Lionel Richie, we play your music all the time. Love you, love you, love you, and cannot wait to see you. August 18th, everybody, Wells Fargo Center. We are going to be there with you. Thank you for all the great music. Love you, Patty. Love you so much, and we'll see you there. Love everybody. See you there. Love everybody.